This is my Hawaii. You'll never forget the golden days you spend with us. The movie Hawaii tells the story of a fascinating part of our island's dramatic history. You'll have a better understanding of our state after seeing it. I play the role of Noe Lani. This is Max von Sido with me in this scene. But my Hawaii is modern Hawaii, which is now so easy and inexpensive to visit. This is Waikiki, probably the most famous beach in the world. Like so many of our people, I first learned to surf on these gentle, long-riding waves. Honolulu will always be my favorite city. Visitors call it one of the most fascinating in the world. An example of why is our nation's only royal palace. It now houses Hawaii's state legislature. This is the throne room. King David Kalakaua and other of our monarchs held court here. Honolulu was the only American city that was attacked during World War II. This memorial in Pearl Harbor rests on the sunken hulk of the battleship Arizona. It's a moving reminder of the heroism of the thousands of servicemen who lost their lives on that fateful morning of December 7, 1941. I love shopping, like any girl. And it's really a ball in Honolulu. There are shops of every description. Colorful island fashions, the latest Paris styles, bargains from the Orient, exciting gifts from all over the world. There's even a shopping center as big as any in the whole world. Nighttime's a swinging time in Honolulu. Broadway shows, professional sports, little theater productions, big name nightclub acts, Polynesian reviews, and scores of romantic spots for dancing and just having a wonderful carefree time. The mixture of cultures and races in Hawaii is one of the most fascinating things about our island state. Japanese, Caucasians, Hawaiians, Chinese, Filipinos, and many others all live and work side by side, each happily adopting the best parts of the other's customs and culture. And many of us have several races in our makeup. I'm Hawaiian, Chinese, and English. Oahu and Honolulu are where the action is. On the other islands, the neighbor islands, you'll find a totally different world of peace where time has almost stood still. This is Maui, the Valley Isle. We're sailing into the harbor of Lahaina, first capital of our island kingdom and one time whaling center of the Pacific. My movie tells the story of Lahaina during that historic period. Our biggest island is Hawaii, the Orchid Isle. It's sometimes called the Volcano Isle, too, because one of its most fascinating attractions is the Volcanoes National Park, which has the only active volcanoes in the world you can drive right up to. Every so often, there's a new eruption, and people rush from all over the state to watch the spectacular fireworks. Kauai is called the Garden Isle. It's so pretty and green and lush. My favorite place there is the Wailua River. You take a small launch for a three-mile trip deep into tropical jungle. At the end of the river, there's a beautiful fern grotto. Every land has its native feasts, and in Hawaii, they're called luaus. For Hawaiians and visitors alike, they're wonderful fun. There's entertainment and dancing and food like you'll never find back home. Poi, Kalua pig, haupia, and Lomi Lomi salmon. 
I think flowers are one of the nicest parts of our way of life in Hawaii. There's so many of them all around us that we can use them extravagantly. We wear them in our hair, we fill our houses with them, we make them into lays to bestow on friends at every coming and going and special occasion. I guess flowers are really the symbol of that special spirit we call aloha.